Mad Max Fury Road 2015. Okay, I'll take, how about Babe, Pig in the City, 1998. Oh, just like to zoop you out of there a little bit. The Wrestler, me personally, I play Star Trek First Contact off of this. Breakfast at Tiffany's, bro, really? <laughs> Duck soup, capote. You know what? I'll probably just take a cast on this one real quick. I know it has Audrey Hepburn in it. Why did I think I would? I, I knew it! In cold blood? Fuck you. I can't think of another. Roman Holiday maybe is an Audrey Hepburn movie. I don't know classic cinema, okay? I knew Truman Capote wrote this movie. I knew there was a Capote connection. The name of connection? Well, Roman Holiday, but I, I ran out of time. I didn't want to burn three lifelines on the first one. Buddy, what are we doing here? <laughs> you killed yourself two times. He doesn't know the mechanics. He's not familiar with the mathematical calculations. Why is it not a draw? Because they're not, they're not using their dang skip, bro. Aeon Flux. Okay, I, I see that you're flexing, and I respect the flex. Um, I don't mind if you play Monster against me. I'll play Young Adult and see where you go from that one. I even forgot I had Charlie Theron banned. 12 and 3. Jags could have been there if we didn't shit our pants last week. Trevor Lawrence, he does not have the clutch gene. Sorry, not Insidious, Malignant, 2021. I'm sorry to say. I'm telling you, my Raven Super Bowl pick looks better and better every week. When I first made it, it was like a slight... They, they were considered not top-tier contenders. They were on like the, the second tier. I'm going to take you to the Princess Bride. I don't want to get stuck in the James Wan universe again. Or maybe it's the Cowboys year, man. Maybe it's the Cowboys year. I know Dak has a reputation for choking in the playoffs, but I mean, it's only true till it's false. You know what I mean? Hey, Shadows with all, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. What about the 49ers? I mean, bro, CMC, you got to say he's the favorite for the MVP this year. Brock Purdy said it himself. Uh, my dinner with Andre via Wallace Shawn. But I don't know. I, I like what the Cowboys are putting down. You know what I realized? You can literally just farm gifted subscriptions if you say something positive about every team in the NFL. You think the Packers can come back? Me personally, I don't see them making the playoffs this year. But uh, with the three halfbacks they have, they honestly have the potential next year to be um, unbeatable in the running game, is my personal opinion. But... Okay, honestly, we're going, we're finding a new game. No disrespect. Apocalypse Now. Take me to Jack, 1996. One hour photo. Nice pick. Nice pick. We go Gladiator off of that. Say something positive about the Panthers. If you love low-scoring games, that's your team right there. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Don't worry. Is 
it's affordable to see their games. <laughs> I, I could play Elephant against you because it was done to me, but I would much rather take you into Four Christmases territory via Vince Vaughn and get one bonus point, and now we're back in my wheelhouse. Avengers Endgame. Nice pick, nice pick. Okay, Avengers Endgame. Trying to think of like a, a way out of this that's funny. How about Wimbledon via Paul Bettany? What? Oh, I guess he's not in Endgame. Not even in like a cameo or a flashback or something? Melancholia. They clone Tyrone. Stop taking me to, to Dutch cinema, bro. I don't want to be in Dutch cinema. Danish? Fucking whatever. 30-minute drive. Baby driver? Yesterday. Lily James' connection has been solidified. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society? Cinderella 2015? Car, 2022. Brooklyn, 2015. I mean, Carol, 2015. I believe that Kate Blanchett has some kill shots. I'm a little, I mean, listen, they're 21 and 3. Like, that's, that's a solid stat line here. They're going to give something up. We're going to give them something up. A ghost story? That's Casey Affleck, bro. Gone Baby Gone, 2007. That's what I should have played is my Casey Affleck kill story. Manchester by the sea. I mean, this is not a good kill shot. <laughs> it's not a good kill shot, bro, but it's crazy. Casey Affleck has been in like so much stuff. Why can't I think of anything that he's been in? We bought a damn zoo. Is this Reese Witherspoon? Nope, but it is Colin Ford. Drowning Mona is a great way out. Cruel Intentions. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Monsters Unleashed, there we go. Sometimes the formatting gets you. Skibbity Toilet 2, The Rise of the Cameraman. Drowning Mona also has a, uh, a Danny DeVito in it. The Crush, 1993. The Princess Bride, 1987. A Door, 2013. <laughs> Princess Bride 2. Um, you know what? I'll use a cast on that one. Naomi Watts, okay? You know where I like to be here. I like to be in Huckabees. I'm scared. There's, there's a few too many 0 0.0s in here. They're going Rushmore in 1998. Take them to Scrooged. I'll take my plus one Christmas point. We'll take what we can get in this game. Ghostbusters. We go Broken Flowers on this one. I'm trying to remember who my way out of Broken Flowers was. <laughs> it's like Morgan Freeman. They can't. Oh, we milled a cast. You got it. When you're behind in lifelines, you got to take risks sometimes, okay? Before Sunrise, 1995. First Reformed. They're going to know Kino Cinema, but that's fine. We hit him with the First Reformed. But please, please don't take me via the director. Give me some Cedric the Entertainer or something. The Gattaca me. We go the black phone. No, that's basically playing for a draw, to be honest with you. I'm going Repo Men 2010. I'm, I'm pivoting off of Ethan Hawke to go Jude Law. 
I hate to do it. Because if, if, if I play Black Phone, I don't know how to get out if they skip. Now, a Jude Law skipper, um, enemy at the gates, the escape route is Rachel Weiss. Okay, we got them on the back foot. They may have to use their skip. They're playing Avengers movies. They're playing ensemble casts. They skip me. I hit them with... Um, I'm going to take them to the Mummy Returns. <laughs> then they go the Whale. And I go Encino. No, I go the Poison Rose. 2019. That should be a plus one because we're getting a, a mouth connection on that one. That's a mouth recommended movie. Looney Tunes back in action. This has Jenna Elfman in it, who is also in Hope and Faith. Uh, Three's a Crowd. It's a movie with Ed Norton. Faith. Three's a Crowd. Keeping the Faith. Thank you, little man in my brain. He got there. I can see the poster. They're all sitting on the couch. It's like a love triangle thing. This has Ben Stiller in it. I think it has Ed Norton. Help. Little bro played Looney Tunes back in action. Didn't know who the second co-star in it is. It's Jenna Elfman, bro. Yes, one, one is a priest and one is a rabbi. But at no point do they walk into a bar. Yo, I love that Orange Justice emote. That was a good game. Good game. Three thousand years of longing. Beast, two thousand twenty-two. Avengers Endgame? Bro, what are we doing here? <laughs> uh, okay. Extraction 2. Go ahead. Play a Chris Hemsworth movie. Spiderhead. I saw that, you motherfucker. I could Miles Teller your ass easily, but I'd much rather just drop you in Extraction 1. You saw that? Yeah, bro. Miles Teller. Chris Hemsworth. A couple other... It came out. I watch anything sci-fi that Netflix puts out. Violent Night with David Harbour. Black Widow with David Harbour. <laughs> Except for Dark. Bro, I watched all three seasons of Dark. Fighting with my family. Paul. There are three? That's why I said I watched all three. Or is your ass one of those Andes who was like, I'm getting too old for this guy when you turned 16 and then you started watching like Mr. Beast and now you're back 10 years later to apologize. You missed a whole lot of character development, okay? The world's end? I'll take you to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Hope Gap. Okay, I'll play Love Actually on that. As an escape route, I would like my plus one Christmas point, please. Atonement. Bridget Jones' Diary. Bridget, it's the other guy. It's Tom, Tom Wham, Wham Bogosins. <laughs> uh, I'll play Domino, and you can kill me with Kira Knightley. We should all be so lucky. It's the other guy, Tom, you know, from, from, uh, yeah, you know, never let me go. What the fuck is this, bro? Carrie Mulligan, Andrew Garfield, Sally Hawkins. You made a big mistake, brother. Sally Hawkins, I take your ass straight to um, Happy Go Lucky. You seem like you know art house cinema. 
I'll meet you there. Well, I hate that. Uh, I'll take you to closer. That's Mike Nichols, not Mike Lee. <laughs> I'll take you to uh, Hot Fuzz. I had a feeling we were in England. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Tyrannosaur. The lobster. Olivia Coleman. I don't want to be the third ex on Olivia Coleman, but I got to find a way back to America. Greece will do for now. Dog tooth. Okay. See poor things in theaters this week. Um, I'll take you to uh, the, 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 the freaking favorite, which also Olivia Coleman's you. Never mind, it does not. Because you're going to hit me with the killing of a sacred deer, and then I'll just take my ass straight to phone booth or something. I'm, not so, I'm, I'm l less uncomfortable than I look, okay? If you Coleman me, I'd probably have to use a lifeline. Okay. Me personally, I take you to phone booth. Let's see what you know about phone booth, bro. Oh, a fellow recruiter. Okay, Colin Farrell movies. You know what? I'm just going to take this opportunity to audible into my safe zone. I will take you to Horrible Bosses. You know a lot of art house cinema. Maybe you don't know shit about Charlie Day movies. Fuck you. <laughs> Leprechaun. 1993. I, I'm in my own puzzle box now. I gotta, I'm going to have to use a lifeline to get out of... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because I know everything there is to know about... Uh, wait, this is Jake Gyllenhaal. Why do I have a Steve Zahn good girl connection built into my brain? You're going to source code me? This is dangerous for me. You may know world cinema. <laughs> but it might not be top of mind. Wow! Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Roderick rules. Rachel Harris, Steve Zahn. I learned so much. I could get out of this any day of the week, bro. Yeah, yeah, you really thought you had me? How about uh, The Hangover? Rachel Harris plays Ed Helms' wife in that. That's all I have to say about that. Sorry, his fiance, his fiance. They don't know anybody in The Hangover. I know exactly where I want to be. <laughs> they don't know shit about The Hangover, bro. Holy... Oh! That bitch got Bradley Cooper in it, bro. This person's got a great record as well. Mad Max Fury Road. How about Babe, Pig in the City? We'll just start there. How does he get dog tooth, but he doesn't know the hangover? Lots of people don't know both. They don't know Kino Cinema and Mainstream Cinema. Many people, as soon as they go to uh, mainstream cinema, they reject kino cinema. They say it's only for um, people who hate having fun at the movies. Many people, as soon as they go to kino, kino cinema, they reject normie cinema. They say, oh, that's stuff for people who are in the 10th grade. Those movies are just for kids. I personally try to keep them in balance with one another, and I think that's what makes me such a unicorn in this.
It's a rare Natasha Leon connection. That one's for you, Macros. You're going Mina Suvari? What's the movie where all those cheerleaders try to rob the bank? American Pie 2. <laughs> the bank job. No, 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 no. I don't think it's... Not the bling ring. It's 10 years earlier than the bling ring. Taking Woodstock, 2009. Um, the Girl Next Door, 2004. I had no idea... Paul Dano was in The Girl Next Door. That makes sense, though, now that I think about it. Sugar and Spice, thank you. Sugar and Spice. Paul Dano, kill shot. Um, we're going to say, you're, you're going to know your way out of this, but we'll take it. Ruby Sparks would have been a great answer. Ruby Sparks would have been an amazing answer. You got it on Eugene Levy. You have to play Mr. Boogity 2. Is that a real movie? Mr. Boogity 2? Does he play the toilet in Skibbity Toilet? Bride of Boogity. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. How about the perks of being a damn wallflower? We need to talk about Kevin. No, we don't. We need to be the only lovers left alive. Which has Tom Hiddleston as Dracula's brother. We need to, that it wasn't, we need to talk about Kevin, the original working title for Home Alone. Ah, okay. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Maps to the Stars. Avengers Endgame. Knives Out. The Neon Demon. Babylon. Tell you what, I'm going to hit you with a, a cast. Julianne Moore. You love to see that. I'll play Gloria Bell. That's, that's a nice lifeline, Miller. I'll give you respect for that one. Still Alice. Julianne Moore kill shot. We had this. It's blindness. <laughs> Which also has Mark Ruffalo in it if I need to get out. You see how their, their APM is through the freaking charts, bro. You can count on me, Mark Ruffalo. Dark Waters, Mark Ruffalo. Because I don't know anybody else in it. Now you please play in the cut. Give me a Margaret, do the fuck you, bro. Get skipped on. I don't have a way out of, I don't even know this movie. You got your lifeline. I guess I should have tried some movies at least. <laughs> no Hard Feelings, 2023, Matthew Broderick. <laughs> this is Jennifer Lawrence. I can get out of that. Winter's Boon. I had to think about it. Vampires, 1998 with Cheryl Lee. Scream. It's not a Wes Craven movie, huh? Interview with a vampire. Babylon. Oh, you don't know shit about Jimmy Ortega? Sea Biscuit. Avengers Infinity War. Babylon. I really don't want to play Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Knives Out. Glass Onion. Don't make me be the second Tobey Maguire, man. Don't make me be the second Tobey Maguire. Um, Spider-Man. <laughs> He's not in Molly's game? Yeah, uh, I'll just be honest. You got me. Ride with the Devil. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Um, the Adams Family. The Adams Family. Prometheus. The Game. 
Con Air. Grease. That's freeze. <laughs> Honestly, I wish there was like a high five good game button. You, uh, you expose my weak spots. Ergo, I wish to not play against you again. You ever notice how much the, uh, the impressive rankings have stuck around? <laughs> Superman 1978. Mm, yeah, 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 I'm not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that. I'm going to take you to Welcome to Mooseport by a Gene Hackman. I got to get out of the 1970s. Mississippi burning. Gene Hackman kill shot behind enemy lines. I'm not letting you go back to the 70s, brother. They had the cast on. They don't know Owen Wilson movies. Bottle Rocket. The Family Stone. That's a, a plus one point for a Christmas movie. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Someone knows Kino. We take them to mainstream. Idiocracy, 2006. Luke Wilson, Kill Shot. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're right. It's, it's Blue Streak or it's my super ex-girlfriend. That's right. I got to get the, get the neurons firing again. Clueless, Paul Rudd. Um, okay. Blast from the Past, Alicia Silverstone. How much uh, TBS and TNT were you watching in 2003? You're going Batman and Robin. We take it back to The Crush, 1993. We had it played against us. I'm very familiar with this. We can escape. Carrie Elways gets you out of here. Do they know? They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Okay, Carrie Elways. We go Saw 1. It's nice to island hop here between very disparate islands that we are familiar with. Because we, we've been to Saw earlier today, the color purple. How about freaking Gemini, man? And uh, how about After Earth, bro? How about uh, Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit? Bro got the Freddy Krueger drip on today. You just call me Robert Englund. The way I'm dripped like Freddy Krueger. Sister Act 1. Not a great kill shot considering the size of the cast, but it's possible you don't know... You don't know Rat Race 2001? They do. OMG, they do. Johnny English, Reborn, 2011. The female co-star is Natalie Imbruglia. Now, I can't think of anything else that she's in. But we got to skip and they don't. So I'm, I'm feeling okay. Love Actually, plus one for you. Um, thinking on this one. Many different avenues you could go. Why don't you take me to the one you always take me to? Why don't you take me to Shaun of the Dead? I don't like being in England, but this is my favorite part. Movies. Last Night in Soho. Take Playmobil the movie. I'll take another plus one on that one, please. We're, we're ticking off the side quests. Horns, 2013. We go Guns Akimbo. Hold the slice. Now you just need Mystic Pizza and Le Guardians of Gahul. Okay. Weird, the Al Yankovic story. This has every actor of all time in it, apparently. But I haven't seen it. So first you send out ensemble casts. And then you use your cast lifeline. Evan Rachel Wood. We go Santa Slay. Different, different person. We go Super. I'm just taking a look because I, I, as soon as I saw Diedrich Bader, I kind of wanted to go the Beverly Hill, the Beverly Hillbillies movie, but. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we go Super 2010 via Rain Wilson. Movie 43. Bad Education, Hugh Jackman. This has been an old reliable for us. This is like putting uh, like Pommel Strike in your Ironclad deck. You're always happy to play it. It's like putting Muriel's Wedding in your Tony Collette deck. Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Mafia Mama. I remember. This got played against me and I said, what the fuck is Mafia Mama? <laughs> she was robbed for hereditary bro the academy doesn't respect comedies unless they're not funny which some of my favorite comedies are not funny to be fair they're merely droll they don't respect comedies and they don't respect horror movies they really really respect um a shot for shot recreation of like a famous world leader's life though Hugh, Hugh, good game. I, I would rematch you. I think we're fairly evenly matched. What's your favorite comedy? I would say number one, Duck Soup with the, uh, the Marx Brothers. Um, number two would probably be some Buster Keaton stuff. I can't really think of a name right now. And number three, would probably have to say um, The Hangover Part 3, where he decapitates the giraffe uh, driving under the overpass. You're going to Larry Fishburne me, huh? You're going to Larry Fishburne me? I'll drop, a, I'll drop a Predators 2010 on you, see where you're going. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne was blocked by my band, bro. Do you know how The Hangover is called in... French, um, le, um, uh, se va mal au domaine, Spy Kids 2001, we take you to World's Greatest Dad via Dylan Sabara, Spy Kids 2, The Island of Lost Dreams, okay, how about Spy Kids 3D Game Over? How do you even know who's in Spy Kids? We did this already. <laughs> we, we've been all around Spy Kids, bro. Okay, Robert Rodriguez kill shot that I can also get out of. We'll try uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Desperado is more famous. Danny Trejo has been used three times. Desperado, Sin City. Good, we didn't have to burn a lifeline. That feels good, that feels good. Typing fast is OP in this game. The Muppets Wizard of Oz. Four rooms. I appreciate the flex on the Muppets Wizard of Oz. I had no idea this existed. They know how to get out. Kronos, 1993. Oh, brother. <laughs> A little spooky. I, I hate being in the Guillermo del Toro-verse. Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn. That's a flex. I'll hit you with Underwater 2020. Personal Shopper 2016. Where to Strand Someone via Kristen Stewart. It would be Underwater. I'm not taking you to Adventureland. Uh, I'm going to take you to Adventureland. I wish I didn't, but... The Clouds of Sils Maria. That one is so such a good kill shot. I've never heard of it. American Ultra. That one is graspable for me. I didn't get it. Bro, you got Adventureland confused with uh, Zombieland, bro. Okay, Jesse Eisenberg is indeed in Adventureland too, though. That is true. But Woody Harrelson isn't. Social Network. Tick, tick, boom. Ready or not, here come the boys from the south. 
My ELO is so low that Christian Bale banned and then playing American Psycho wins every game. Little bro doesn't know about Jared Leto. Take you to Neighbors uh, 2, Sorority Rising. I'm not getting lost in the Disney Channel. Hey, just a tip for you. Lose the nurdle. It sounds better. Sausage Party. How about Kick Ass 2010? Nobody. I'm surprised. Um, this has got to be uh, James Dean starring James Franco. I don't want to get stuck in the, as a second ex on Seth Rogen. Then they play American Pickle on me. 127 hours. I'm not going to the disaster artist. <laughs> it's, it's done me wrong before. Didn't he do Cormac McCarthy? It was like, did he, did, it wasn't Blood Simple. What? No, that's 1984. Literally. Okay, I'll, I'll take your ass to Sunshine. I don't really want to, but I'll do it. <sighs> so I should have. Oh, it's why him? Why him is the kill shot? Dr. Strange. Okay, welcome to Denmark, the hunt. I'll go to Denmark. I'm not letting you take me to Denmark. I'll go. You're not taking me. I'll take you. Thomas Bo Larson is in another round. Where did that come from, bro? They're, by the way, they live in Denmark, so I'm scared. <laughs> Mads Mikkelsen was our escape from Denmark. I don't know what else to play. I don't know where to go. You skip me? I cast on this one? Swedish movies. Let the right one in. Um, strawberry, Wild Strawberries, 1957. Um, Troll Hunter, Rise of the Titans. Take some time on this one. Um, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Nice draw. Nice draw. <laughs> you can rematch on that one. The Celebration from 1998. Oh, sorry. I didn't grow up in Malmo. So I've seen Zola. It has a tall guy in it. I'm going to have to use a cast on this, and this is driving me crazy. I've seen the movie. Nicholas Braun. That's the tall guy. I'm fucked, bro. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I have to skip. I can't name another Riley Keough movie. It was a slap in the face, man. American Honey? What the fuck, bro? Okay. That's a nightmare opening. Note to self. Zola into American Honey. We escape, but it's a hell of a lifeline destroyer. This guy is obliterating you? Me when I beat him and then get a draw against him? What the fuck? Shia LaBeouf kill shot. Honey boy. But if you skip me, I die. <laughs> so let's play Fury instead. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I need to be careful because I need to have an escape route. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the lightning thief. Divergent. Avengers Endgame. Tell you what, we'll use plus 15 seconds on this one. We'll play Babylon. Play Knives Out. Sola, American Honey. Percy Jackson. I don't know who's in this. Hunger Games. Shailene Woodley, Divergent. Did I play that already? <laughs> Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Okay, you got me on that one. I don't know who else is in Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. I'm 35 years old. I'll take a rematch on that one. <clears throat> oh, you're, I could have just played Percy Jackson too. But then when he played Percy Jackson 3, I think we're in the same spot. Who is Logan Lerman, by the way? Is 
There is no three. They just came out. It came out on Disney Plus yesterday, bro. Now I'm scared because we're going the opposite direction. Logan Lerman is from Perks of Being a Wallflower. No, no, no. What's he been in that people have seen? Um, sorry to bother you. Isn't this, this is Jonathan Majors, isn't it? It is not Jonathan Majors. Regina King. Bro, I'm trapped. <laughs> I hate to do it. I'm skipping you. I'm falling apart, man! Moonlight. Green Book. The movie that solved racism. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Alien Resurrection. Welcome to Brad DeRiff, motherfucker. Try to take my ass back to waves. I resist. I resist. The DeRiff zone. I forgot. Kirsten Dunst is in Little Women, too. We didn't have to play a second X. Dracula. No, 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 no. Um, um, speed. This shit does not have Keanu Reeves in it. Bro, I'm getting butt fucked here. This is a disaster. With Nail and I. Save me. Don't. Do, can you ever forgive me? Can you ever forgive me? I'm, I'm reigniting the neurons. You motherfucker, you. Gosford Park, 2001. Send it back to me. Come on, send it back. Downton Abbey. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Harry Potter and the fucking it doesn't matter. We Maggie Smith 2X. Maggie Smith 3X and I'm dead. Downton Abbey. <laughs> Fuck you. Could I resign? Resign. You got me. I died. I have no idea. Bridgerton. England, England, death of Stalin. Okay, well, we made an honest attempt. Honestly, you're just better than me and your blind spots match up nicely. I'm gonna give you a, a battle home on that one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now this feels more like it. They had my number. They locked me in 2023, like the 2020s, and then they took me back to England and they were just going, ramp, 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 ramp. I mean, world cinema is definitely a blind spot. No disrespect. Why do you not look up the movies you lose to? You know, we're all going to die someday, right? And you've only got a limited amount of time on planet Earth. Do you naively think that you're going to uh, master every movie, uh, the cast of every movie that's ever been released? You know, they make like... 25 more every single day. Okay, and? That's why I don't look it up. Because there is no end game. I can memorize 25 movies a day? No, you can't. You're here. No disrespect. <laughs> But like, there's plenty of things that are productive with your time that you could do, but clearly have made a habit of not doing. You're sitting here for entertainment value, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you're the one asking me why I'm not perfect. Look in the damn mirror, simple plan. Star Trek Nemesis. We go, um, I didn't know he was in that, to be honest. We go Independence Day. Master of the Skies. Wayne's World 2. You can still improve your craft. Holy cow. 
I was going to say something really rude, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I'll just let the silence serve as the medium of creativity instead. I was going to say that I thought I was the weird one, okay? Now, the phrasing might have changed slightly. Reservoir Dogs, I'll take you to The Incredible Hulk, 2008. Pumping iron? I mean, we could, we could do this all day. What are we doing here? Last action hero? Arnold Schwarzenegger, kill a shot. How about around the world in 80 days? You know shit about around the world in 80 days? You may. I didn't know Owen Wilson is in that one. Fair enough. Um, we'll take you to um, Isle of Dogs. I knew Jackie Chan was in it. I didn't know Owen Wilson was in it. The French Dispatch. I got to go for the Wes Anderson kill shot to put you on the back foot. I'd rather not give you a Bill Murray out. So I'm going to go Darjeeling Limited. Like, I don't want to get Scrooged. He's in the Darjeeling Limited? I saw that shit in theaters. Who does... Oh, he's probably the narrator of the opening segment with Jason Schwartzman and Natalie Portman. Caddyshack's not going to get me, though. That's simply not going to happen. We're going to play Vegas Vacation from 1997. People type insane shit. Scrooged has uh, Bobcat Goldthwait dot dot dot, as if that's like obvious information. I'm going to say European Vacation. Um... Now, I know that with Bobcat Goldthwait, he's the guy who talks like this, and he directed World's Greatest Dad, so I can get out of that, but don't type it as if like everybody in the chat knows who Bobcat Goldthwait is. Like, just because you know something, you know that that doesn't mean that it's obvious, right? Like, people will really be in here with information they learned yesterday, and they'll be like, you don't know that? <laughs> Halloween 2018. Interesting. How about, um, I bet John Carpenter is involved in this as a writer. No? Okay. Just some recurring cast. Salt on Precinct 13. John Carpenter. We go, I don't know who's in this, so we go Starman. So we don't get Starmaned. Tron 1982. Now we go Hell or High Water. There's a lot of Jeff Bridges movies you could kill me on. We go Crazy Heart, because Hell or High Water has Tom Hardy in it. Ripped? Oh, I mean, we're getting out of that. It's, that's a free guy? No, you know what? That's a Van Wilder, if I've ever seen one. <clears throat> Oh, it has Chris Pine in it. That's right, Chris Pine. You're going American Pie. We're going uh, Slums of Beverly Hills, 1998 then. You're going American Pie 2. And then we're going Sugar and Spice, 2001. It came back to help us. This has Jeremy's girlfriend from season two of Peep Show in it. <laughs> I will know something that one of these actresses is in if I have to use a cast on it. They skip me. One cast. Melissa George. No, James Marsden. Bro, James Marsden. Lil Bro is in 27 Dresses. And then I want you to reply with another James Marsden movie. And then we hit you with uh, Hop. Where it's him and the animatronic bunny rabbit.
plus one for Easter? Not yet. Not yet. Who voices the rabbit? I don't know. Game over. That's a good game. Russell Brand? Russell Brand voices the rabbit? Oi, I check it. I'm a rabbit. Yeah. I did not see this coming. Well, I'm gonna go snort some cocaine in the bathroom. If you could you get it out of my pouch? Yeah, thank you. You wanna join? No, okay. Sorry. Um, Apocalypse Now. We go Predators 2010. I've never seen Hop, for the record, but... Does get him to the Greek have the most canceled cast of all time? Okay. At first I was like, no, 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 that can't be true. It, okay, Russell Brand, sure, no question about it. Let's go memento on this. Um, Puff Daddy, yeah, yeah, okay, pretty canceled these days. Jonah Hill... He's at like a 45% like a canceled, I would say. I think in time he can come back, but uh, certainly not on the level of a, a Russell Brand or a Puff Daddy cancellation. But yeah, Elizabeth Moss, Scientologist, canceled? I don't know if I would say that she's canceled. Robert Downey Jr. was banned by my opponent. But Killian Murphy wasn't. What did Jonah Hill do? He told his surfer girlfriend to stop posting pictures of herself surfing on social media because it made him uncomfortable. We got cold pursuit. No, Killian Murphy kill shot. Now I'll just go sunshine. There was other stuff too, but like... It wasn't good stuff, but it wasn't Russell Brand stuff. It wasn't Puff Daddy stuff. We got Youth in Revolt for the Michael Sarah connection. And the Eric Knudsen connection. Michael Sarah kill shot. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Interesting play. Michael Sarah kill shot. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. No, no, I don't think that's going to work. Arrested Development, the movie. I'm going to play the 40-year-old virgin. I'm going to take you to Kat Dennings. Just because I was like, I'm not going to kill you with it. This is the end. It's like most ensemble cast of all time. Uh, Juno would have been good because even though they would have gotten out of it, I'm very comfortable in the Elliot Page filmography. There's like art house stuff we can spin off. There's mainstream stuff we can spin off. We go Gloria Bell, Julianne Moore. One day this is going to be 0 0.1, bro. Children of Men. We go blindness. Oh, okay. They, they found a Mark Ruffalo. Is this the only game now? Motherfuckers be like, take me back to Isaac. I've only seen it 5,500 times. Okay, you're, you're trying to get me stuck again um, via Robert Downey Jr. And I refuse. I'll take the David Fincher path instead. You've seen all those plus twos? How does that feel? You come to me with a bad faith question, you get a bad faith answer. Alien Cubed. Am I killing you with a David Fincher movie? You'd be surprised how many people don't know that David Fincher debased himself by directing this steaming pile of dreck. I know this is a little... I mean, there's lots of famous actors and actresses in this, but... Okay, they do know that it has Tilda Swinton and Brad Pitt. Who the heck is Tilda Swinton in Burn After Reading, bro? I'll take you to The Tomorrow War via J.K. Simmons. Clooney's wife? Oh, you're, you're, she's John Malkovich's wife. You're not beating the allegations that you can't tell men apart. I love you, man. I'm going goon for goon with you. Oh, that's the wrong movie. We'll go Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I was thinking of role models. George Clooney's wife is... I don't know. 
But Frances McDormand is in that. I don't think she's anybody's wife, though. Get him to the Greek, most canceled movie of all time. Hop. Let's reinforce the neuron. X2, adaptation. Brian Cox. Gosford Park, brother, it's a Nicolas Cage joint. Charlie Kaufman, Judy Greer, Katherine Keener, Chris Cooper, Meryl Streep. Avengers Endgame, Tilda Swinton, Killshot, Tar. No links were found to this movie. That's Kate Blanchett. <laughs> I'm not beating the allegations. I get them confused because they're both so talented. It's not just because they're both tall and have like light colored hair. They're also extremely talented. And they've both been in Marvel stuff. Although Tilda Swinton was bald and Kate Blanchett was mommy. You skip me on high rise. I need to use cast. It does have Elizabeth Moss in it. Okay, how about the one I love? Get lost in Mumblecore, bro. You don't know shit about Paddleton. Hi, Tomo. Rematch me. These are good games. I think I got a few more in me. At 12.30, I think we're playing Lethal Company, but I haven't checked the Discord since. Since I asked if people would. And two people RSVP'd. If nobody RSVPs, that's bad. If two people RSVP, you're like, more people will RSVP in the meantime. We'll go Inception on this one. Justin also mentioned it. Ah, that would be the third. Memento. Okay, pretty simple. I connect via Prometheus on this one. Kind of a Christmas movie. Don't they celebrate Christmas on the ship? Alien 1979. American Gangster, 2007. Go ahead, play the duelist, bro. Idris Elba sets up a Christmas tree in Prometheus. We take those. Edward James Olmos. We take Battlestar Galactica, the movie. Welcome to Vancouver, bitch. Blade Runner 2049. Welcome to Battlestar Galactica, fucking Razor, 2007. <laughs> Now, do I know how I would get out of here? No. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, it has no writer. <laughs> Luke Pasquale. How about Battlestar Galactica? And you know what? I'm going to hit you with a skip on that one. I have no idea. Hi, Tomo. The movie wrote itself, bro. No, I don't think, I mean, I don't recognize any of these actors, to be honest with you. Which means they're probably all Canadian. I, well, I'll dad take my draw. I mean, I got us in there. It's my fault. Hi, Tomo. Mad Max 1979. All right, welcome to Babe. Fucking Babe, pig in the city. 
Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, he invented the Zephod Beeblebrox box, the universal translator. Finally, someone knows, bro. How about fucking Green Room? Did you ever accept draws during chess tournaments? Yes, I was good. For my age, at least. Star Trek 2009, Anton Yelchin. I'll take you to um, Super 8, J.J. Abrams. Greta Gerwig's in this. Where would I lose you? Star Trek Beyond, the one nobody saw. Which was apparently pretty good. Paul, Simon Pegg kill shot, run fat boy run. Or wait, wait, how to lose friends and alienate people. I don't know shit about this movie except I saw a trailer for it before something else in the theater. <laughs> Hi, Domo. Starman. Holy, bro. How about Ghosts of Mars, 2001? Salt on Precinct 13. I'm going to keep you in a place where I'm comfortable. Take you to They Live. Can you show us Tomo? He uh, turns invisible after I pick him up. He doesn't like to be picked up. He doesn't like that kind of attention. Like I, he just ran away. And now I'm going back and he's coming back. You nope me. I play, uh, I play a widow's on you. We've been here before. And then I'm coming towards him with my arms outstretched. Here he is. Hello, hello. Get Out, The Five Bloods, um, Megan, I don't know what I'm going to do if you play The Perfection, though. I'm going to play Billy Madison. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the Kaluuya Declined into the Bradley Whitford variation. Because if I play Megan, I don't have a way out of it. The Water Boy. Okay, lots of ways out of this. Play Full Metal Jacket. Arlie Ermey's not in this. Um, the Craft by a Feruza Balk. American History X, Feruza Balk. Uh, I'll play Primal Fear. We're, we're kind of treading water for now. Who? She plays Vicky Valancourt. We're not going to kill you on Ed Norton. You know what we can do? We can play Glass Onion so they have one less escape route. You're going to looper me? Me personally on looper, I'd prefer to take you to a quiet place. Part two. Quiet Place Part 1. What do you know about The Devil Wears Prada? Uh, what do you know about Mary Poppins Returns? Oh! What do I know about Mary Poppins Returns? Oh, fuck you, man. The Princess Diaries 2, because Julie Andrews was um, Mary Poppins. You thought I didn't know that shit? Brokeback Mountain, A Knight's Tale, could have flexed and went to Aquaman. I summoned fish to the dish, although I like the shell, I swish, I like, I like the sushi because it never, it, I don't, I'm not a good rapper. Although I like the chalet Swiss, I like the sushi because it never touched a frying pan. Son of a bitch. 
Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Let me think about it. Heath Ledger kill shot. Ten things I hate about you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to type the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. American Pie Two. Get over it. Okay, if, if we must, I'll play Election then. A lot of people don't know about Chris Klein these days. You'll be like, I don't know Chris Klein, but then you will see Chris Klein's face when you Google him and you'll be like, oh, Chris Klein. Who I have to imagine is probably an American wedding as well. Chris Klein, fucking big dicked American wedding. He said, I'm not coming back. That's insane. What was he doing instead? I don't think I can get out of searching, okay? I wish I could, but I don't think I can. So instead, I'm going to hit you with a Herald and Kumar. Go to Guantanamo. Starship Troopers. Great movie. You're going Neil Patrick Harris. I don't think we're getting the Neil Patrick Harris kill shot. Unless we get a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's, that's rough. That's rough, bro. I just Googled Chris Klein. I don't know who he is. He's got like a big face and dark eyebrows. And he was famously cast a lot. I'm not saying he is dumb. But he kind of got typecast as like himbo. Like dumb guy with a big smile. But not much going on upstairs. But he, he might... Oh, you're right. He's in Rollerball. What was I thinking? Of course he's in Rollerball. David Krumholtz. I was just about to say this guy's in the Santa Claus. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a smart play. I got to get Rollerball. Rollerball, Chris Klein, Rebecca Romaine hold the Stamos these days. And uh, Ice uh, uh, LL Cool J. That's a big one. Rollerball. Election? Bro, we, we played election. That's how we got to this conversation. My bad. Okay, apology accepted. I don't know why I thought Pineapple Express would work there. Let's go changing lanes. I gotta... I gotta Samuel L. Jackson was banned by my opponent. Let's go four rooms. Losing people in Columbus with John Cho is good. Is Columbus also the one? Um, hey, what's that Estella Warren movie where she's on a beach? <laughs> anyway, um, I'll hit you with the big fish, Helena Bonham Carter on this one. Is, is Columbus the one that also has um, Ted Mosby and uh, Wanda Sokoloff in it? Wanda Maximoff? Take me to Sunshine. That's liberal arts. Thank you. Columbus a little different. My mistake. Columbus a little different. You got Rose Byrne on a bitch? Okay, I'm going to play tag on you then. Josh Radner, that's his name. Jeremy Renner. A lot of people don't know shit about the Born Legacy 2012. I envy them. It wasn't that bad. Welcome to Save the Last Dance. It's not like great. It didn't have any reason to exist, but wow, no links between Save the Last Dance 1 and Save the Last Dance 2. Julia Stiles kill shot. The born legacy, the born identity. The born. I, uh, legacy, the born 
ultimatum. That's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> and then you hit me with a mystic pizza. Okay, you got to try a mystic pizza kill shot should be worth like plus 10. I can't believe we're on 65 already. This is this does not have Ben Affleck in it. Holy cow. They skipped me. All right, all right, all right. I understand. We'll go Aaron Brockovich. Does Aaron really have to Brockovich? Wayne Brady auditioning for the role of Aaron Brockovich would have made the movie a lot different, for sure. Eat, Pray, Love, Julia Roberts. My, my best friend's wedding, Julia Roberts. Let's see what you got. I don't think there's any overlap with Gosford Park. Oh, we take those. Battle length, 69. We're a little light on the, um, the wins today, partly because we had some losses, but also because we've had some great rallies. There's been some good matches. I don't like being in Blue Velvet, personally. Um, I'll take Twin Peaks Firewalk with me from 1992. There have been very few easy ones today. The Straight Story, 1990. Okay, um, I don't know. I'm going I'm to give you an out. I want to take you to, like, Mulholland Drive. Because I want you to get out via, like, Naomi Watts. And then I take you to Huckabee's. You're going Justin Thoreau, American Psycho. Very interesting. Okay. Me personally, I'm trying to think of where I would take you on this one. I'll take you to my so-called Life the Movie. I'll take you to The Suicide Squad. I'll take you to Suicide Squad because I see a potential Guardians of Gahul connection here. See, it's not a Zack Snyder film, but I, I like where your head's at. The Suicide Squad. This has um, John Cena in it. So I buzz in your ear like a bumblebee. He plays Peacemaker. Transformers. That happens a lot. <laughs> Megan's body. I mean, <laughs> Jennifer's body. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's, I got confused. I got my Megan's and my Megan's and my Jennifer's confused for a second there. I was like, Amy's body? Amy's body? That doesn't sound right. Megan's body would go hard? Yeah, it's made out of like vibranium or something. You skip me on Jennifer's body? Okay. How about how to lose friends and alienate people, 2008? <laughs> That's why we get compounding gains, bro. You take the stuff that you learn earlier and then you roll it forward to use later. Hunt for the wilder people? I'm like, straight up, yes, man. The Reese Darby door. How the Grinch Stole Christmas? No, no, no. We won't be doing that today. We'll be doing Splash. Directed by the same guy, Ron Howard. A little nepotism involved there, apparently, in the casting, but that's okay. 
It is a plus one for them for how the Grinch stole Christmas. You go Blade Runner. I'm like, nah, bro, we won't be going Blade Runner. We'll be going uh, Air Force One today. No, no, you know what we'll be doing? We'll be going American Gangster. We'll, I'm, I'm very content to go Ridley Scott mode on you. Free Guy and Ripped were both filmed in the same location. Let me guess, Ohio? <laughs> Ridley Scott, I'll hit you with a little The Duelist. Let's see what you know about The Duelist, bro. I've been killed by The Duelist before. You've been watching the streams? You, if you're watching the streams, you know a way out of the duelists. You're going bad lieutenant. See, I'm not a big fan of that. I was hoping that would just kill you. But I got lifelines to burn. Hi, Tomo. The Irishman. I'll take dirty grandpa. Representing two different sides of uh, Robert De Niro's late career coin. Jackass 3D. It's not a Spike Jones movie. Uh, this is not Johnny Knoxville, bro. You really think Robert De Niro's in the Johnny Knoxville movie? Come on. Robert De Niro fucking kill shot. Let me think. I'm just, I'm, I'm testing, I'm just poking him. Just poking him to see if he's got it. He's got it. Okay, he's got it. We drop a little kundun on him. I like it. Why does it everybody talk about silence? Uh, we go Thor Ragnarok. What do you know about Thor Ragnarok? You know some Scorsese movies? Do you know Cape Shit? We won't be doing this today. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we're on Bahu Bali to the conclusion, motherfucker. Oh, no. <laughs> Slumdog Millionaire. Devdis. Oh, son of a bitch. Um, okay. Um, sing him. Hit me with a plus 15 seconds on that. Sing him too. I think I played the same thing. Cast me again for five seconds. Disconnected, attempting to reconnect. Um... I just don't even know what I could type. Zorro? Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I walked into that one. I need to find a Ray Stevenson movie to get me out of that. That's a good strat. I'll give you some credit on that one. By the way, I, do, I feel disrespected. We're not going again on that one. They, had that, they, they popped it out in one second. We all know what NL doesn't know now. The fuck, bro? I typed in like five movies from India. People are like, he knows nothing about Indian cinema. Your ass didn't know Devdis. Come on. Okay, Mad Max Fury Road. We go Babe, Pig in the City. They know the James Cromwell connection. Okay, I'll give you some credit for the James Cromwell connection. What do you know about Batman 1989 then? You're mispronouncing the fuck out of Devdis, by the way, LOL. That doesn't surprise me. You know what would surprise me? Is if I pronounced the fuck out of Devdis. Considering I don't speak the language in which it was made. And I also have never seen that shit. I just had an Indian friend when I was a kid who told me that his parents watched it all the time. <laughs> and then I looked it up and I saw that at the time it was the highest grossing movie in Bollywood history. The, the vampires, I'm scared here. Vampires kiss. 
I'm scared because they're driving the bus, but I think if I can get them off tempo, we'll be in a better situation. I mean, this is just fucked. This is, a, this is the skip of all skips. Nicolas Cage has been in a lot of stuff where he's the only noteworthy actor as a result of the IRS. <laughs> okay. All right. Into the Storm, 2014. Avengers Endgame. Babylon. Knives Out. Um, Gemini Man. The Last Witch Hunter. I'm trying to pick shit. Um, Bangkok Dangerous. Nobody wanted to work on him or work with him on that in the future, apparently. All right, we'll go battle home. We'll find a new game. We got dumpstered. This person's 11 wins and zero losses. Holy. <laughs> Witness, 1985. What the fuck, bro? I miss the dude who just played the Bionicle movie. Your plus 15 doesn't go past 20. I didn't know who the fuck the person was anyway, bro. I was in panic mode. We'll play Indiana Jones. Um, it's like telling somebody, hey, like, I know you drowned, but did you try taking a deep breath before you went underwater? Like, we were going to die anyway, bro. I don't know how to swim. Okay, we'll go crouching. Mm, we'll go Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. We'll go uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I was thinking of Ming Na. Okay, I've, I see you. We will go Hulk 2003. I feel very respected seeing my own plays mirrored against me. House of Sand and Fog. Uh, we, we're in a rough spot, bro. <laughs> Play a beautiful mind. I'll give you the second Jennifer Connelly. I need to get some tempo. I mean, that's obviously we're using a cast on this one. Dermot Mulroney. I'll take my plus one point for the family stone, please. The Grey, Dermot Mulroney. Take your ass to about Schmidt, 2002. Take your ass to about Schmidt, 2002. Okay, I'll take your ass to Cold Pursuit. I'll use plus 15 seconds. I'll take your ass to... It, it, the website broke. I was going to take you to Schickler's List. <laughs> All right, the server has died. Well, that seems as good a time as any. We'll slash marker. Uh, we'll call that Cine Nerdle. 